All right, we pivot to college football, where College Game Deal will be back in Austin this week for an in-state battle. Texas looking to hand TCU its first loss of the season. The game will feature the only two players in the conference with a thousand yard rush yards this season. TCU's gun, uh, Kendra Miller, who's rushed for a touchdown in nine consecutive games. Meanwhile, Bijan Robinson has rushed for at least a hundred and seven straight for Texas. Start of a very challenging stretch for TCU. They've got the toughest remaining schedule in the country. Road games in Austin against Texas, in Waco against Baylor, home game against Iowa State. FPI says they got a higher chance to lose out than to win out. It's not an indictment of them, just saying they're playing tough teams. Those chances mean little to TCU, just as second half deficits haven't mattered either. The Horn Frogs are perfect 4-0 after trailing in the second half this season. Quarterback Max Duggan leads the conference with 24 touchdown passes and only two interceptions. Pleasure to welcome to the show, I believe for the first time, the head coach of TCU at Sunny Dykes. Coach, uh, congratulations on the great start to this year. And we're talking on a night where your team finds out for the moment you're in inside the playoff with a four next to your name. I heard you tell Reese Davis you haven't paid a lot of attention, and I get it. But I just wonder your reaction to seeing a four next to TCU's name. Yeah, Scott, I think it's, I think it's cool. I mean, I think our guys have worked really hard, um, you know, to, to get here. It hasn't been easy. You know, we've had to overcome some things and, and grind and figure out ways to win football games. And I think it's a credit to our players, and, and I'm glad that they're getting the recognition they deserve. Now, we still got a, a long road ahead of us, but, uh, but, but I'm really ex excited and happy where we are right now. You and I were joking before we started. I, I said you make every game exciting. You said you'd rather they be more boring, but I would imagine that there's a benefit to that, right? Because you're not – the, the, the next close game you're in won't be the first one. You found ways to win when you've had to come back. I just wonder, what's the best way to explain what the benefit of that as a team is? Well, I do think it does uh, prepare you for, for bad things that happen in, in games. I mean, you're going to have some games where you probably don't play your best football, and, you know, and, and you're going to face good opponents who are going to you know, figure out ways to, to you know, have some success against you. And Our guys are not uh, a group that's going to panic. They have a lot of confidence in each other. They have a lot of confidence in our ability to, to stay focused and to overcome deficits. And, you know, at the end of the day, the most important thing is to, to, to figure it out and, and, you know, and win football games. And our guys have been able to do that. I was thinking about your game Saturday night against Texas today, preparing for this conversation. And it's, it's, a, it's remarkable, the opportunity in front of your team, isn't it? I mean, you're talking about going up against Texas, and we know the brand name they are, but you're the one with the bullseye. You're the one with the four next to your name. You're the one who's undefeated. And they got your predecessor, Coach Patterson's up there as a special assistant. There's just a whole lot that's baked into this game. And the fact that TCU's had a bunch of success against Texas of late. So I just wonder, how do you take all that, Sonny? Throw it out and explain to your guys, we got 60 minutes Saturday night. Let's make it count. Well, the good thing about this group is they haven't paid attention to anything so far outside of football. I mean, we were picked seventh or eighth in the Big 12 in the preseason. They never blink. Um, when we started to have a little bit of success, you know, I, they never changed the, the conversation. You know, I, I, we know that we're going into a very tough environment. I mean, that's a great environment to have in, in Texas. That's a very talented football team. But again, our guys believe that if we prepare hard and, and, and well, and we go out and we play well, then we're going to have a great chance to win the game. I imagine it, it helps to have veterans, guys like Max Duggan, your quarterback. And I could have started here because I think he is sort of a metaphor. The question I'm going to get to in a minute, the backstory for our viewers that might not know it, you're talking about a senior, a guy who for basically three years was a starter. But when you get there, you said, look, we're going to have a competition. And Max didn't win that quarterback competition. Now, with the portal these days, a lot of guys just say, the heck with it, I'm gone. He didn't. He stuck around. First game against Colorado, starter gets hurt. Max gets on the field. You play great in the second half. He's been incredible this year. And I'll get to the question here, Sonny, which is, as you try to build your program there, your culture there, how much does it mean to have a guy like Max who you can just say, see this guy right here? That's how you do it. Yeah, I mean, it means the world to have somebody like that that, that everybody knows, loves, uh, loves TCU, cares about the team more than himself. You know, it's hard for a guy that started close to 30 games to lose the job and, and not pout, not complain, never exactly. have a bad practice. He just, he just kept on grinding. And I think he's a great metaphor for our team. I mean, our team has kind of done the same thing doesn't matter what happens to us. We just, you know, keep showing up, keep swinging, and, and good things are going to happen. And I think Max has been a big part of us developing that kind of, of, of approach to, to the game. 
I know for a lot of years, Sonny, folks felt like you and Fort Worth at TCU might be a marriage that made sense, and so far it's gone perfect. You've won all the games you've played. You've got a, a four next to your name, and you take on Texas Saturday night on ABC. Uh, it's been fun to watch all year, and I'm sure it will be Saturday night. Good luck down there in Austin. Thanks for your time tonight, all right? Yeah, Scott, thanks for having me. Should be a heck of a ball game Saturday, and looking forward to it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.